go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's Jeremy coming to you with another truck video and today we are talking about the father in Oregon that trolled Joe Biden and said let's go Brandon and then Joe Biden responded with let's go Brandon I agree we're going to talk about that because the mainstream media continues to be the enemy of the people they are terrible they are horrible and they're doing everything in their power to shame this man to make this man feel like the worst person in the world to make an example of this man that's what they are trying to do with this guy because this guy trolled joe biden with the let's go brandon thing uh, on a phone call during a christmas phone call and now suddenly that is crossing the line that is the line that cannot be crossed now four years of trump it was f trump F Trump, F Trump. It was okay for Madonna to talk about blowing up the White House. It was okay for Johnny Depp to talk about uh, assassinating him. It was okay for Kathy Griffin to hold a bloody Trump head. It was okay for all of these horrible things to be said about him during award shows. Uh, it was okay for him to be portrayed in different musicals and plays, uh, having horrible things done to, to Donald Trump. All of that was acceptable. All of that was completely fine. But yet one father says, let's go, Brandon, and suddenly that is the line that can't be crossed. That is the line. What this is, is this is teaching everyone else that you need to stay in line. If you don't stay in line, if you dare to criticize uh, Joe Biden, if you dare to go against the mainstream or the Democratic narrative, they will destroy your life. They are making an example of this man because they want to f you to fear them. This is fear tactics. This is intimidation tactics. That's what they are doing with this guy. This is about making an example of this man. And I don't know what's ultimately going to happen. He's already started to change his tune. He's already tried to say I meant no disrespect, all of that. And I totally understand why he has the, why he feels he needs to do that. Because I don't know exactly. Well, first of all, I'm not going to talk about what the man does or anything like that. I'm not even going to share his name here, even though it's out there. But the mainstream is just going to continue to bully him and ruin his life because it's not about him. It's about you. It's about everyone else out there. They are trying to let you know that you do not step out of line. You do not criticize the narrative. You don't go against the mainstream talking points. And if you do, this is what the result will be. That is what they're trying to do. They are trying to make an example of him so they can intimidate you. You can't let that happen. You have to speak up against these people. You have to stand up against this nonsense. Because if you don't stand up against it, you're only giving them what they want and you're making your life more difficult and more miserable by doing so. You cannot let these people win. Let's Go Brandon is just as much about fuck Joe Biden as it is fuck the media. Now, whether they know that or not, I'm not sure. I think they are aware of that because ultimately this all happened because at a NASCAR race, Brandon, I think his name was Brandon Brown. I used to watch NASCAR a lot. Um, Brandon Brown won his first race, uh, I believe at Talladega in Talladega, Alabama. Um, Brandon Brown won the race and then the crowd is in the stands after he does his celebration and his burnout. He's standing there doing an interview and the crowd is chanting F Joe Biden over and over and over again. And the reporter knowing what they were chanting, being very aware of that, tried to do what the media often does, tried to twist it and manipulate it and said, oh, they're chanting, let's go Brandon. That's how this was all started. So the Let's Go Brandon meme is just as much about telling the media to go F themselves as it is about Joe Biden, because Joe Biden is protected by the media, as there are so many other things. So this is a movement to, to tell the media to go to hell, and as well as Joe Biden, the former vice president of the United States of America. And so that's the beauty of the Let's Go Brandon movement is... You know, this father, I mean, I can't get into his mind or, or anything, um, but when people hear this father using that language, they know what he's saying. He's making a joint statement to go 
F Joe Biden, F the media, F the media narrative. At least that's how it's perceived. Again, I can't go directly into his mind, but that's what people feel like he means by that. And because that's what the Let's Go Brandon meme truly is. So again, it's disgusting, but it's not surprising. This is what we continue to see. This is why we need new independent voices to continue to uh, grow and thrive. It's why I've talked about many times that there are different levels of creation. And, you know, one of the, the ways to create is to create alternative media voices, alternative voices that will battle against that narrative. It's what we've seen with Barstool Sports or Outkick the Coverage in the sporting world. You know, we've seen the rise of the Daily Wire, which are doing a fantastic job. And, you know, with what Ge Geeks and Gamers is in terms of the gaming, movies, and the sports side of things. And obviously, I dip heavily into politics here on my personal channel. Um, you know, we have to have a voice that is willing to go against the narrative of, because the mainstream is the reason that so many of these entities are so powerful. And I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight because it's not going to happen overnight. But ultimately, we have to battle against this. We have to try something. And uh, ultimately, I'm very proud of uh, the progress we have made overall. I'm, a, I'm an annual supporter of the Daily Wire, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Ben Shapiro. I'm a fan of what they're doing, and I'm a fan of what they're building and creating. And I think that's very, very important to support you know, media companies that are trying to battle against that. But that's what the Let's Go Brandon movement is. And the media is disgusting with some of the things I'm seeing them share out there. So you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I stand with this man. Uh, and I know he's probably going to ultimately make an apology. At least that's what it feels like it's moving into. I think he's already apologized to some extent. Um, but I think that's, that's definitely the direction it's going to go in. Um, because they're ruining his life. They're ruining his life. Uh, and this is what they do. And again, this is not about him. This is about making sure you and everyone else out there re realizes that if you step out of line, the mainstream will destroy your life. They will destroy your family. They will destroy uh, your livelihood. They will destroy your image. They will destroy everything and anyone that associates with you if you dare step out of line. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Let's go, Brandon. And we will talk to you later.